Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tabacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Aerolite aluminum block roller petrol lighter adorned with little aluminum discs with the letters G, E, N. I assume those are initials affixed into the side of the lighter. We have had a video on this lighter before, repair video. Um, the flint spring has been replaced in it, and the um, piston spring that puts pressure up into the snuffer hinge. Um, was seized up when we made the original video seized up actually during uh, the video and uh, that has been uh, disassembled put back together all documented in another video so now we're finally getting back around after all these months to doing the video to get this lighter sold you can see that it shows scuffs, scrapes, general wear, but is in overall very good condition. Dings, you can see some uh, pressure in spots to those discs. I'm not sure if they're just affixed in there by pressure um, or if they're actually somehow um, some kind of adhesive that they're glued in there with. I had another lighter that had the same design but without the discs in it. See the spring has plenty of tension now. There is not a gasket on the fill screw, and I was trying to remember when I was getting ready to make this video if the others that I've had had gaskets, and I couldn't remember. But with such a robust fill screw, um, you're not really going to need that gasket anyway if you fill your lighter properly. Only thing that gasket's going to help you with is an overfilled lighter. As I said, it has the original wick. Which it could probably use. Looks a little bit dirty. So we will go ahead and grab a hold of that wick, pair of pliers, pull up to a clean looking portion, and then we're going to snip that old dirty part of the wick off. Now that you have that dirty part cut off, go ahead and take a knife, screwdriver, whatever you have available that is clean. It's not going to contaminate it with anything else. And go ahead and try to bloom that wick out as best you can. 
It's a little bit easier to do with the copper woven Zippo type wicks, but it'll work with these as well. Works pretty good with the Emco. This is just whatever was in this, and it's not spreading it quite as broad. But that's okay. Should function just fine all the same. Has sort of a short roller. May not really look like it in comparison to the stature of the lighter. It's sort of a short lighter as well. I think all of the arrow lights that I have had have been this size, this height. So I wouldn't know if there was a ladies version, standard version, anything like that. The base of the lighter is not finished all that great. Kind of rough, but at least it is marked Arrow Light, Wichita, Kansas. There is some damage to the slot of the fill screw, but nothing horrible. You don't typically see dents in aluminum block lighters dings gashes maybe <laughs> but not dents I just want to give that wick a good test here and I also want to show where in the process of getting this lighter tuned up the uh, flint spring had gotten all twisted up inside the tube so I had to find a replacement and this was all documented in the other video the repair video but you can see there are the screw and the flint spring that I cut to fit that. Go and get it. Okay, that's tight enough. And we'll give it another test or two before we finish up. But all in all, the uh, Aerolite is a really solid example of an aluminum block lighter that is marked really well has a very nice fill screw with a screwdriver built into it I forgot to mention that a while ago so you don't even need that screwdriver because you got one right here And then the handsome design looks like the 1960s to me, maybe the 50s. Really cool old lighter, which the sides are all a little bit better finished than the top or the bottom. The bottom looks worse than the top though to me. You can see some grooves in the 
top there it's not the best machining I could imagine Until next time.